My name is James Michael McLester. In 2001, I was diagnosed with 15% kidney function. Dr. Cowden suspected that the mercury that was still in my fillings was the culprit, and that mercury becomes toxic to your bloodstream. And so now there's a connection between the kidney failure and the mercury that was put in my body at 11 years old. My eyes are getting blurry, and I'm having, like, my legs having sharp pain shooting down my legs, and I'm not paying attention to this stuff. We didn't know about the world of kidney failure. I know he called me one day and said he was in the shower and the skin on his legs split open. He needed somebody to, to help him, and he would not listen to me. I was in denial. I said, no, I have mercury poisoning. I was already in stage five kidney failure now. At this point, there's nothing that could be done except emergency dialysis or a transplant. I got to the hospital, people are hooking up tubes to me. The next thing you know, I'm being wheeled down to a basement. The basement's freezing cold. Four hours on that bed. You couldn't get up and had to watch that blood flow out of your body, hoping that it came back to you without a blood clot, hoping that you wouldn't die on the machine. What you see, flesh and blood before you, would reveal to you that I'm gonna die any day. But I'm gonna live and not die. There are over 25 million Americans today afflicted with chronic kidney disease. Many will die while waiting on a kidney transplant. Others will die on a dialysis machine. And with the foundation, I would like to help whether they had hypertension, whether they had diabetes, whether they had mercury poisoning, and offer a four-step screening process that they could go through, plug them into a network of alternative doctors and dentists, and help them get well and get the freedom that they need. Thank you, and I hope you'll be joining us soon. God bless.